like two weeks back i didn't think like i would be sitting in front of you people <laughs> and it's like you know i'm still pinching myself to be <laughs> honest and it's such a uh, great honor many people came to me that shweta if we saw you 10 years ago on this very stage right. with kalpana mm-hmm. when you were just starting off yeah and theory said aren't you happy to see what's happening in india Chala ja ma'am Shivendra uh, it is such a pleasure to see you in can big congratulations on this incredible screening of thump the head of can classics has just told me it was the discovery of the year tell me about that evening first of all well i think i think the real excitement was uh, many of them hadn't walked the red carpet and uh, a lot of people do not know that in the official cannes film festival there were only two films uh which was uh, selected and both happened to be in the Cannes classic section pratidwandi and uh, thump and uh, i was told that uh, they really wanted to make a big thing about thump because they thought it was uh, one of the best restorations uh, it was a collaboration between india and bologna and scorsese and uh, prasad coming into the, to the fold and uh, the excitement i think for a lot of people who never walked the red carpet I had that privilege with Kalpana way back ten years, so it was exactly ten years uh, ago that I walked the red carpet with Amla Shankar, and uh, we were given a time of ten, and all the big stars were there: Marion Cotillard, and there was Almodova actors, and 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 they were getting late. It was it was really funny with <laughs> this thing because they were stressed; they couldn't enter, and uh, we, you know when when you haven't done it often. and and they are veterans to this but we but uh, so we couldn't figure out the cars and all that but in all that excitement i think we were 11 of us and uh, we walked and it was uh, it was just an amazing experience that you're walking uh, not just for yourself but you're walking for your country you're walking for the film and uh, you just feel that the red carpet you know we can we can sit back and we can look at it oh it's just the red carpet or or this is glamour it's 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 celebrity status i think the red carpet is just a, a kind of a assurance of your work and your commitment and 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 the applause you're getting from your peers and people around you and uh, the camera clicks is is actually what we all got into filmmaking for <laughs> i mean when we see eight and a half we we we, we think why we love felony so much So so it's it it was great yeah What was it like for you this is a film you made decades ago, ago yes yeah. it, it was your first film uh, and here you are all I these years like, later <laughs> yes it's like a i can't say it's like a dream come true but it's something like so unexpected yeah. and it's like uh debuting in Arvindan sir's film it's itself is a great honor for yeah. me then like after that 44 years then it's coming it's been selected thanks to mr shivendra and getting into the classic section and then you're coming down here like two weeks back i didn't even think like i would be sitting in front of you people <laughs> and it's like you know i'm still pinching myself to be <laughs> honest and it's such a uh, great honor i would say it's a blessing from god that i got this opportunity uh, to work in the film and i should thank venu chatan that's nadumudi venu who gave my picture to arvindan sir and that's how i got cast in this film and of course i should thank uh, mr ravindra nair who produced the film so it's like i have no words to describe my feeling it is like as he said on the red carpet it's i am so proud that as an indian and then like from kerala i think i'm the we are the first malayali actress to um, grace yeah. the yeah It's amazing. How wonderful. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. It was like the Sulpu yeah. Kitty had said, "You are the first Malayali actress to walk the red carpet." So it meant like, oh my goodness, it's something, yeah. something which you can't uh, put a word to. Yeah, it's like we are on cloud nine, and I walked with all of them, and my daughter was also here, so she's an aspiring actress. So it's like you know, for her, it's like a big moment, and for me, it's like I am like still, <laughs> still, it's like. not sunk in like did i really walk <laughs> we were all like in a uh, you know what what's, in. what's amazing is that this film was of course thump was shot by shaji and karun yes. and his film swaham was actually the last indian film we have 
had in competition yeah. and in Piravi, 1994. And Piravi won. Yeah, and Piravi yeah. won. You know, so, uh, yeah. it's it's so so Malayalis have done us proud at Cannes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. Tell me, you know, for to set context for people who might not be familiar with Aravindan's work, right? Uh, what made him so great? What made him as iconic as he was? And what makes this film as great as it is? I think yesterday we had a fabulous screening and uh, people came out of the theater and they said, we did not know this part of the world. We didn't know this kind of cinema in India which existed. And that really brings you to notice that you're exposed to Ray, you're exposed to Ghatak, you're exposed to Minal Sen, you, you've seen the popular cinema all around you. I think Arvindan is is a very unique filmmaker because he puts you in a very meditative yeah. experience. He's, he's almost dealing in magic realism, uh, which is very unlike uh, any other filmmakers because there is there is a very personal side to the film. But but at the same time, he uses the technique of cinema verite and documentary style, uh, breaks the narrative, but at the same time, it's so simple, set in this rural folk culture of Kerala. And he evokes, I think, if there is anyone who evokes uh, human passion and human uh, human nature and, and the way he deals with his surroundings and the people and... Uh, you really can't figure out at times that who's who's an actor and who's a natural person. This sort of sort of blends in Absolutely, that. Absolutely, which yeah. is which is why I have to ask you, what was it like to shoot this? Because it is impossible to tell, uh, you know, that these are the professionals, yeah. and and because everyone seems like they're not professionals. No, not you not know not that yeah. he's he's just put his camera there and he's recording life as it is. As it is, yeah, because uh, it happens like the circus comes to this yeah. rural village, and like I'm part of the village. So like uh, when they come in there, we are all in awe thinking what is this the first time a circus is coming down there and you should see the expressions on the people's face because it's like new for them and those are the local people who had come to watch the uh, circus and of course few of us being a debut thing it's like you know am I right am I wrong so and Arvindan sir is like such a soft spoken person you know he hardly he just uh, gives you the direction he just says okay you have to look there you have to look here and I didn't have any dialogue in the film so that was one blessing I would say because you know you're like mum you might mumble your words uh, for the first time when you're in front of the camera but I didn't have any of the problems you are just like walking up with some clothes wet clothes coming up and then looking at a guy who's sitting there and things yeah. like that so all these are expressions so he just gave me all the full um, descriptions or like details or how how and what to do. So everything was done and like as you said, I'm meeting both of them, Shaji and Karun sir and Arvindan sir for the first time. So it's like and I was so actually when I came for the film to shoot the film, I was so excited. I was not thinking that I'm going to be an actress more than that. I was just like an outsider coming to the set and the thing when I saw uh, Parad Gobi yes, and it was like course. you know it was a big moment for me the first time I'm seeing a national award winner yeah that was what I was feeling so how you were, natural you, he you was. were like an admirer <laughs> yeah because then like, you know I didn't even dream that next after a few years I would be doing a film Yavanika yeah uh, with him and he's the drum uh, tabulist who like sort of abuses me and kind of thing so I was like I didn't even uh, know that I was going to be a yeah. acting opposite and, and when people ask me how do you act I said you see you don't have to act when you are with him he he does his work and you naturally react to it yeah. so it's very natural yeah. you you're not like you don't have to be hard you know put on something you it I don't know it instants I mean it just comes out of you so it's like to work with such an artist it's like He's he's almost like Robert Bresson, you know. In I many was going to say, in, yeah, he's because the like, close-ups of the faces, yeah. the you know, and and just such a few lines. So he was he was deeply influenced by Bunuel, and uh, it is so ironic that the film was screened in the Bunuel Theatre with the director he loved. He's almost Bressonian, and I think, uh, you know, one of the things we all from the Film Institute will tell you, at least in our times or times before that. Whenever Naya Saab showed us these films, because he, Naya Saab loved Arvind. This is P.K. Naya. Yes. yes, of course. He loved Arvind. <laughs> and I think that's where uh, my 
my passion for his work and understanding his work began and also the passion that we had lost all his negatives and we had to do something about it. But what was interesting in the Institute is that when you're learning filmmaking, you, you are told how to say action and, and cut and all that. Arvindan would just touch, you know, when he wanted to say action and he would touch the camera Cameraman, from back. Yeah. So we and don't, he would, we he don't hear this. So how do the actors know? You no, know, so they just stop. <laughs> it just you know he, he you was, just do it yeah he, he would just touch you like for the from the back that it's it means and action the or it means cut. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we are not like uh, we won't be like you know the correct he, correct he just. almost allows you your space and your form he, he himself is in a meditative way yeah very and, much and very much you have that spiritual kind of feeling when you yeah work absolutely. with him it's yeah. so silent they you know everybody is like in a and you can see it in his film, Thumb. Yeah, yeah. Hardly any, any dialogues. Kind of, yeah, and but it's the faces, visual. Yeah. the yes. faces are so remarkable. It's incredible. You know? that, that's the way I think, think Shaji and Shaji yeah, both of them work together, work like together that. very much on the visuals. And, and I know how tough it was for them because they shot on Indu stock, which mm. was not Orvo because, and it's in 78. It's a black and white film black when and the white color team. is still there. So they decided to go with black and white. Then they shoot with Indu, which is really not the stock, uh, you know, it's the Indian stock in OT, which used to be manufactured. It had a, the contrast levels were, the outdoors were uncontrollable. Yeah. They shot on this very, very tight budget. And, uh, but look at the kind of films which came out. And I think I'll give that credit to K. Ramindranathan Nair, yes. the producer. Uh, Anu, he's the producer who's produced maybe nine to 10 early new wave films. He's the producer who produced Ali Patan, which yeah. is Adu's film. Yeah. And some four or five films of Arvindan. And uh, it's just amazing the, 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 the kind of, he's a cash on a trader. So, and he lives in Kollam and uh, he's supported. How These wonderful. Kind of films. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, can the we do it yeah, now? That is yeah. Can we as filmmakers do it now? <laughs> no, yeah. no, we, no Four way. page script. He didn't even have a script, Arvindan, yeah. right? Four page script. And then to reconstruct the film yeah. while Based he's shooting with a ratio which Shaji said one is to two. Explain what that means. It means that you you, you only can take two takes per, per, per shot. Okay, take per shot. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, you I have mean, to be good. Not, I mean, I mean, I mean, we, we can ask all our young today. More rehearsals yeah, more, were there, like you know, you just yeah. walk up so that every shot and every your frame and you everything. You have no luxury. You can't mess, mess up. Because, no, you yeah. can't. Because they didn't have the luxury of stock. Yeah. I yeah. mean, Amitji says this wonderful line to me all the time, and he says, uh, Rishida. And I don't know whether you know this story, but yeah. uh, once he told Rishikesh Mukaji that, can I take one more shot? And Rishida said, uh, fine, you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Shivik, tell me, as, a, as an archivist, as yeah. a restorer, what was your biggest challenge with Thang? Uh, I think the material itself. The, the biggest challenge was that we were dealing with a dupe negative, which was made from a print. So if viewers do not know what a film print is, film print is the print which used to play in theatres and well before, not so far away, 10 years ago, yeah. we now think of digital because it swamped us with all that. Yeah. But 10 years ago uh, and even today in parts of the world where the celluloid is still shot. So if you have a print and it wasn't a great print, you can make a negative from it. So there was a dupe negative lying at the National Film Archive deposited by Shaji Karu. Um, thanks to the producer many years ago and we uh, had uh, a kind of uh, tried all the other archives around the world and this film was shown in many festivals and we couldn't track uh, much of the material. There was a Japanese print at Fukuoka. So f it took us a long time to track that, then to assess that. We had to repair the film and then uh, use scanning uh, methods. It was scanned in Prasad. We began the restoration of Prasad and then we did half the work in Bologna, which is grading and mastering and and uh, a lot of other work, which so we, we got two collaborators to work on that. I also spoke to Sai Prasad and got him on board as one of the funders of the film. Uh, but the challenge was with the sound also, because Arvindan was so, so uh, intrinsic in terms of using small sounds, mm -hmm. small sounds of the village or the performers and we and you know when you don't have the source material when you don't have a sound negative or separate tracks then you are relying on a print and the print has its limitations so we had a lot of work on cleanup uh, and at the same time uh, being absolutely purist the way the film should be restored 
you know, even in those days, Anu, when we used to see a new print, uh, there were scratches, yeah. there were grains. It was never perfect. It's but not that's like the beauty the, of film, beauty right? Of film. Yes. It's, yeah. it's not like yeah. how we see it now. Yeah. So, the whole ethics of restoration is that you keep that intact. You keep the grains. You keep. You've got to bring it back the way it was when it was first released, yeah. and not the way you think now. Right. It's going to be like. Yeah. And and I think that's what we were successful that's yesterday. When people saw it, uh, they were able to to connect of that time, that period. And that's the beauty about restoration. So I think. The challenges were many. Um, always challenges are also funding because when you're dealing with not a popular film and you're dealing with uh, a film which is 44 years old, black and white, um, and, and and not plot driven in any way, you know, driven. barely any dialogue. Dialogues. Yeah. Yes. So, so it's it's yeah. not an easy set. Not, easy. not but, at all easy. Yeah. Yeah. But as a foundation, you know, I know we we are doing a Manipuri film, we're doing a Uriya film. The whole idea of, of, of having a foundation like ours is to do those which really don't get a chance to find its way. Yeah. And it should be done with the artists involved. And we are very proud that all of them came for the festival. We don't want to be showing films without them because, yeah. because the restorer is just the fact that we are bringing it back. We, we don't have any claim or we don't have anything. Restoring has to be done as a passion and as, as a as a work which we bring it back to the public it's finally we bring them back so they need to take the film forward and i think the accessibility and then where the film goes is very important and uh, you know we are in talks about releasing the film and uh, oh, lovely. that's that's been my focus that that to re-release these films uh, even if it means few shows or few ways of people seeing it and then of course it finds its way onto ott channels and whatever but let the festivals get over, then we'll yeah, find it. Yeah. It would be a great thing because like my daughter was saying, like, you know, even she was saying, like, I couldn't see the film. So we didn't have a print or, you of know, course, we yeah. didn't uh, yeah. get a chance to see it. So yeah. she, yesterday when she saw it, she was saying, Amma, I can't just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> it's such yeah. a feeling because like seeing the black and white films, I mean, these children, they just see all the uh, color films. So it's like seeing a black and white film that too with a director of this caliber. So it's like something and like I feel so honored or like I'm so blessed. Even my contemporaries, contemporaries used to tell me that uh, Jalaja, we are envious of you. I said, why? Why are you? So no, you got to work with Aravindan sir, Adur Gopalishan sir, like, you know, Paradhan, Padmarajan and KG George because oh, Yavanikya was, yeah. yeah. So these kind of legends or icons of Malayalam film industry, I got to work with them. So they are jealous of me. I said, like, <laughs> I don't know how I got them, but I see, I, I really feel so blessed that I got to work with such yeah. directors. And like, as he said, like Mr. Ravindran, um, you know, he had, if he was not there, I don't, I don't know, like, we yeah. would get yeah. these kind of films. I mean, the amount of philanthropic work he's well, done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I just, got all the negatives photographs of, of one photographer who's like the Nimai Ghosh of, of Kerala, um, Balakrishna. Balakrishna, no, yeah. he's also no more, yeah. And, and then when I asked his son, he says, Ravindranath and I gave him a camera, gave him everything. Oh, and wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's I mean, like silent. We have not seen, we have silent not, angels. Yeah. And, and I, <laughs> just <laughs> before coming, I did a Zoom call with him. Okay. I wanted to tell him, because he owns theatres also. Right. Yeah. And uh, he first thing he said is, I'm now obliged to you. you yeah, know, naturally, yeah. we all are obliged I, to him. No, no, no I, I, no, I don't no, think no, it that no, way. No, no, I, no, but I, we I, really I was, feel because I was so film. moved because, you know, we are finally, we are finally students of FTI. Okay. I, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, we can never, we can never shut that off in whatever we achieve. Yeah, when no, that, so when that comes, when that comes, comes yeah, we, think totally of, we think of Peek and I, we think of oh, the archive, yes. we think of the films, because finally we've learned from these great masters yeah. and we want to give back that. So Absolutely. I think, I think it's just that the joy of watching uh, yesterday so for me oh, yes, on the like, screen was like I was back in the institute and Peek and I were there. 
How oh, long will it that, be? That's, it's like for that's us, so like it's that like, is, yeah, that, so you know, you, you become a kid back again, you know, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. and that's what really exciting. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. you want to restore because of the fact that you're so passionate and committed but, to that. Yeah, that's true. And well, it, I remember, Shivi, in your film on PK and I have yeah. Man, there is a moment uh, when I, I can't remember if it's him or somebody else tells this story about Arvindan coming to FTII, waking up PK no, and I. John in Abraham. The, that's John Abraham. Uh, yes. Uh, who came? Yes. Oh, and he woke and him up in the middle of the night. Middle of the night, and they went to the the theatre and they screened the film. Yeah, that, okay. That's gospel according to St. Matthews. <laughs> it was Pasolini's film. Right. And he got off of the train, He uh, John Abraham, because it was in his mind and head, you know. And, and he, he wanted to see, see it, it that oh, night. Right. And Nair Saab showed it to him yeah, in the yeah. middle of the night. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Vinod himself says about Breathless. Uh, I mean, th that generation uh, of I don't filmmakers. Think, filmmakers, I think. Yeah. Uh, KG, a rare KG breed. George or all of them. Yeah, all of they them all are... talk about Peek and Iron. And I think what India lacks is uh, when we are talking about restoring all these films and talking about that, uh, we lack Naya Saab. Yeah. We lack because I think he knew so much about about each and every film, each and every scene, each and every reel. Just imagine if he was there. Uh, it would have brought uh, great joy to him. But more than that, I think we would have had a, a, a very intrinsic restoration on, on each film because there would have been so much personal feeling towards an investment way, investment there and but just, yeah Shivi, i want to i want to end by asking you that yeah. that there now is at least conversation about restoration sure. there is media exposure for these films you know um, the government has announced a very very sizable package for restoration are you hopeful i mean we've lost almost 90% of our silent films. How are you feeling about the state of restoration in India? Yeah, I think uh, one that I'm delighted because we started, you know, if it hadn't been for Film Heritage Foundation, yeah. where we brought, you know, right from Celluloid Man. Actually, Celluloid, you know, I know it's, 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 it's a circle. It's, it's P.K. Nair actually who began my journey. And, and all this which is happening around is thanks to him, which yeah. is somewhere... We, You're taking we, his legacy, legacy forward, forward. Yeah. yes, it's and, very and, true. And this is what he was waiting for, you know, in, when I, I know that uh, when people were offering him money, um, you know, that we could take care of you in his last days, he was saying that could they just restore a film with that money? You know, <laughs> okay. that, that, that was his passion. Special so, oh my God, I got so I think in these, uh, right since we started the foundation in 2014, we, we uh, were able to evoke that kind of passion towards, towards preserving, more importantly, and then restoring. And uh, Tisha and I worked on the National Film Heritage Mission, uh, the document, which is what is the, the government of India has now uh, implementing. So we wrote that mission and I'm very happy that that mission is finally seeing its way uh, in the restoration. But the important thing is I know how you're going to restore it. Mm. Uh, film Heritage Foundation is very committed in its way and it takes a long time to restore one film. This took nearly a year wow. because, because, yeah. because it's, it's like making a new film. Yeah. And I always believe that there is the original version and the restored is another version. And you have to get in like the filmmaker and you have to see yourself how Arvindan would have seen. And then it's a very complicated and very intrinsic and it's a very detailed kind of a work where you have to be very careful that you don't spoil the work because people today are going to judge Arvindan by seeing this it's restored sure. film. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's how it's important. It's so delicate in many ways that you could literally you know, by, by, by having the wrong grading or wrong way of looking at it, removing something you can change. So I'm, I'm delighted in many ways that, that so many things are happening and India has moved into, uh, into uh, this entire realm of new preservations and new restoration. But my worry is that, that I hope it's not uh, another, you know, volume kind of right. business because restoration, be re restorations are, uh, painstakingly uh, intrinsic and uh, it takes a long time to restore a film and you need everyone from that team to work together uh, to create that like like how you would make a film it's, yeah. it's the same way it's the yeah. team which makes um, we, we are going to do some interesting stuff around uh, different parts of India and but uh, we know that uh, just by doing a few of them it, it takes a whole year yeah uh, the work begins a whole year so I think what I'm, uh, what I'm more than happy is that today India and the world around knows how important and committed we are towards film preservation and restoration, which was not 
Correct, there correct, since correct. when we started. We really pushed it. The film is, you know, we were going across and I think people like Martin Scorsese and Christopher Nolan uh, coming to, to India and to support, support. us. That's mm -hmm. a that big really thing. Helped. It's yeah. Yeah. Big, yeah. So they took it out and they, and yesterday Thierry was saying that uh, mm -hmm. he, his, you know, he said, I was watching the film and then he came right at the end and he told me that uh, I'm so happy. And in fact, many people came to me that Shwena, we saw you 10 years ago on this very stage right. with Kalpana mm -hmm. when you were just starting off. Yeah. And Thierry said, aren't you happy to see what's happening in India? This was his answer I'm to so me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He said, aren't you happy? This is what you wanted. Mm -hmm. And But don't give us too many because we can't handle it here. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think that said it all. I mean, right. uh, Peter Becker of Criterion told me the same thing. And he said that I'm so wonderful that I feel that India has arrived on restoration and preservation and uh, so yeah it really the conversation be. has the, gained momentum absolutely I think that's I think, wonderful yeah that's I, I think wonderful. I think the one thing which I'm disappointed is 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 the fact that uh, that both these films didn't get that kind of media attention in India Thump and Pratidwani because the, the Indians or in India media they couldn't figure out what films are in the main section so, and what yes, films are a, not in not the main, main section. section and they're going and after the there ones there was a huge yeah. there was a huge propaganda for for certain kind of films yeah. uh, which is fine but these pratidwandi and, yeah. and thump thump are both in the main section of the Absolutely. festival and they were both selected and there's a huge huge competition on that yeah. you can imagine every country sends of five course. six films of yeah yesterday he was saying he, that he was saying 3000 films Wow. Yeah, and yeah. to get because selected restored, out of it, yeah. yeah. And if I itself would have sent a lot of number of films, all the Ray films they sent, and they picked up, you know, they sent I think 10 or something, I'm not sure. They they have a panel which chooses the best restorations, the best discoveries and thing. So I wish the media would have given the record. Finally, Arvindan, mm -hmm. it's not mm -hmm. us, it's Arvindan and Satyajit Ray would have got that attention. Well, they really we will do our it. best. And they absolutely. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. It's, it would be an honor, honor to, to bring attention to them. Yeah. Uh, yes. But we will do our best and, and thank you. Thank and you, and you have really, you've begun something very important. And again, congratulations. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you.